adventure club today. Make sure you look all the way in the back. I see hands way in the back. Wave your money so they can see you because they're not seeing you. They're really short, kind of like me. <laughs> if I wasn't standing up here, I wouldn't see it. Look way in the back. Look way, way back there. Ah, good eyes. Make sure we use our manners and say thank you. Thank you, Sophiana, for helping. You know what? Since I have a bad knee, I'm going to sit right down here in the middle of all of you. Right here. Oh. Would you like to come over here and help me so I don't miss any words? Because this is a really good story. You want to come up and sit up a little higher? It's called the Do Good Pilot. I wonder what that means, do good. What does do good mean? Can anybody tell me? What does the word do good mean? Do good, is that to mean help somebody? Maybe if they needed their groceries or if they needed their front porch swept or maybe even mommy needed some help or daddy or somebody? You could help them. That is, I think, what this means. Because I created yes. the world. He did create the world. We're going to listen to this memory verse. It's God second. The world. He did. Can you help me read this? It says, 2 Thessalonians 3.13 And as for you, brothers he, and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. So this is about a pilot. What's a pilot? What? An airplane. An airplane. He, he flies an airplane, right? Well, let's listen real close and see what he did. It says, I travel a lot. This is an experience I on know, a United Airlines. I never listen. went on the airplane. Okay, let's listen and we'll, we'll find out all about this, okay? It was a flight from Los Angeles to Dallas. That's a long ways. The plane arrived 30 minutes late from San Francisco, California. The crew in Los Angeles, they hurried as fast as they could to prepare the plane for the next trip back to Dallas. When it was time to board, I walked onto the jetway. I, right before the door, was going to enter. There was an elderly lady. She was sitting in a wheelchair, waiting to get on. I was the first one in line, and a long line of people went behind me. Suddenly, the captain stepped out of the cockpit. He held out his arms, and he helped the woman out of her wheelchair. The woman slowly stood up on her unsteady feet, but the captain picked up her bag and her sweater and he helped her walk onto the plane. Once inside, me, once inside he asked me to wait just a minute until I got her seated. All this time, the line got longer and longer. All I could see behind me was all these long people standing in the line. I was so surprised by the pilot's kindness. I wanted the people to know how much the pilot was, had carefully cared for the older passenger, even though the plane was very late. As though I, I sat in my seat, I posted a message on Twitter. We all know what Twitter is, don't we? Yeah. I put, I am impressed. United Captain helps frail old woman onto the LAX DFW flight hero in life was the hashtag. Even though the takeoff was delayed, 
The plane landed in Dallas in two hours and 20 minutes. That was 11 minutes ahead of schedule. They were behind schedule, but oh my gosh, they got all on time. Because God? Be because God helped them, didn't he? You're right. I was determined to learn the name of this particular captain. At the plane's exit door, I asked the flight attendant, and she smiled and motioned to the cockpit door. Well, why don't you just ask him yourself, she said. So Captain Nugen looked surprised at my question. I thanked him for his kindness to the elderly woman. I reached out my hand in appreciation to the kind pilot, and he smiled at me and shook my hand the same hand that helped assist the little old lady. I could tell by his consideration that he was, a, he was good indeed, and this was not even part of his job. I even took his picture. God it, the, what? God he did help her. It's taking God. time to show kindness to a person. The God. Bible says, as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of being good. Because God? Because God wants us to help, doesn't he? That's right. You're very smart. So how can we be kind to one another? How can we be kind? By Lizzie, being helpful. By being by helpful. You're right. People. You're right. How could you be helpful? Um, washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Um, I want to do that by Nana. Nice. How about you, Carl? How could you be helpful today? Um, cleaning up. Cleaning up. How about you? Do it. Do it. Ooh, I like that one. Every kid needs to learn how to do laundry, right? Just a minute. Let's let, let's let Violet ask. Um, um, vacuuming and doing the dishes. Vacuuming and doing the yeah. dishes. I, I hold a glass. A real glass, then we put my hand inside and clean it. And you're very that careful. That was my brother, the teacher. Did, he, not did he teach you how to do that? No, I did. You did? Well, good job. Well, we're all done with our story, so you guys all go back and make sure we use our reverent inside voices, okay? Okay. Thank you for your help.